Today, we're gonna be talking about this thing and why is it just sitting here in my driveway? It's actually been here for about like three weeks. <laughs> What's up guys, they watching another video. Like I said, today is a video about David's F80 M3. You guys probably already see by the title and thumbnail, David messed up bad, bro. <laughs> And I don't know what's going on. I don't know why this is happening. First my E46 and now David's F80. As you guys know, David just picked this car up probably about a few months ago maybe. And unfortunately, something happened. All right, bro. What happened, David? David already bought his first mod. Finally. Half mod. <laughs> Half a mod. Even though he can't really put them on yet. Since this happened to his car, we, he had to buy some new stuff for his car. Let's talk about what happened, bro. As you guys know, this is David's F80. M3, Austin Yellow. So sad. It's Wait, just been sitting here. Abandoned looks. I know. Both these cars look abandoned. Look at this. It's just turning into a freaking junkyard over here. This thing is even worse, I think. <laughs> yeah, that's normal. Hey, but at least I could drive mine. You're getting fucking acid to clean that shit. <laughs> this is really bad. Guys, all our cars are just abandoned. It's so sad. We really need to. I need to start stop being lazy and get this thing running. I know a lot of you guys want to see 350Z content. It's coming, guys. I actually taken it to a body shop the other day and got a quote for all the body work. Except, I think we're gonna go a different route. Look, I was gonna have a, a body shop like fill in all these holes that I have. I guess the previous owner put like a big ass wing on it or something. He must have done like a duck wing. And then he also put a big ass wing or something. I don't know. But there's holes everywhere on the trunk. And I was gonna have a body shop refill all this stuff, but they were trying to charge me like an arm and a leg, bro. Until I realized that the homie Fresh Kicks just replaced his. And his Z is the exact same color too. So I hit him up, he still has his trunk. I think I might just buy his OEM one that's gray, throw it on the car, just so that I can finally wrap it. I don't know if that's- Spider eggs? Oh, and the spider eggs are still there, guys. If you guys haven't watched that last video with the 350Z, there was eggs all up in here, bro. I wonder if they're still here. Oh, they're still there, bro. They haven't hatched? No. Let me see. Guys, look, I'm gonna try to zoom in. They're, they're still there. Oh, that is that the spider? Yeah, guys, this thing is infested with spiders, as you guys see. That is crazy how the eggs are still there. That was at least a few weeks ago, and me and David drove this car the other day for a good, like, hour and a half. So, I don't know how the eggs are still there. There's spider eggs in this car, all up in the wheel well. I've seen a couple in the engine bay. But there's none inside, thankfully, I think, I hope. I am kind of sketched out driving it. But anyways, this car needs to be come back to life. But let's talk about this one. Before David tells you exactly what happened to the car, I want to give a huge shout out to Carly, our sponsor of today's video. Soon, guys, we'll have our own on the channel. I'm still looking for one. I know a lot of you guys send me them all the time, but soon we'll have our own F80. I'm just trying to find the perfect one. Carly is a company that is used to diagnose and code your car. So today I thought we used David's F80 to show you guys exactly what this thing can do. It's really, really sick. I actually used one of these in my E92 when I had it. But what it is, is you can diagnose what's wrong with your car. You can literally have this on the go with you all the time. If you guys have like a code on the dash, a code on here, or like a check engine light, you can simply just plug this into your car. And there's an app on your phone where you can control it and check all the codes that you have. It's pretty sick. So we're gonna plug this in right here to the little OBD. Just like that, you can see the little light. And then they have an app on the phone where you can connect your car. It's gonna do a whole test on the car and tell us exactly what issues this car has. Look, that's the health of your car. Use car check, you can customize your car. You can do like certain coding, which I'll show you guys right now. 66%, they're checking all the codes. 38 issues so far found. <laughs> oh my God, bro. So it's saying 71 issues found with David's F80. So as you guys can see, it tells you all these issues. Red means that it's very bad. Orange means it needs to be checked. And then yellow, I think it means like not that serious. See, so there's not that much serious code. Exactly what's wrong with it. It'll tell you exactly what code it is. This is a smart mechanic expert guy. So it tells you exactly what they think could be wrong. So instead of going to a shop, you literally could diagnose your car on your own, which is pretty awesome. And we can clear the issues. Issues are being cleared. This might take a couple minutes. Let's see? So only 10 issues found this time. At least there's not 70 issues, bro. <laughs> there's exhaust flap control. So you probably has like an exhaust. Something wrong with like the flap. That's serious, but it gives you the code. Look, it even takes you to Google and finds exactly what code that is, which is really, really awesome. Really cool thing about this app is that you could customize the coding. You can like code it where like your mirrors will fold in when you hold the lock button on your key, stuff like that. It's for a seatbelt reminder. So you know how like when you're driving with the seatbelt off, and it'll be like that chiming noise over and over and over. I think you can turn it off. And there we go, look. 
No seatbelt is on. I don't have the seatbelt on and look, the coat is gone. And now when you're driving the car and you don't have a seatbelt on or the passenger doesn't have a seatbelt on, even though you should be wearing your seatbelt at all times, guys, do not take your seatbelt off. <laughs> it won't do that annoying chime that you hear. Comfort folding for side mirrors. So I think that's when you lock it, I believe. Let's see if we hold the lock button. Oh, look at that, David. <laughs> and then you can unlock it and the mirrors fold out. Bro, that is sick, bro. But yeah, guys, just like that, the coating is endless on here. You can sit here for hours trying to coat out a bunch of little things with your car for coating, for your vehicle health, for all the check engine lights and all that cool stuff. Huge shout out to Carly for sponsoring today's video. I definitely recommend them. I just think it's really cool. You can check the codes on the go wherever you are. I think you can go in depth and change all the little cool features like that with the mirrors. So yeah, go check them out. I'm gonna leave the link down below. It's the first link in the description. Go grab yours right now. You won't regret it. What happened, David? All right, so. <laughs> well, the first well David thinks he's Ken Block over here and you guys could already see some damage right here David accidentally hit a curb exactly the same as I That's did crazy. I think Look, I hit it like it damaged on the actual like sign of I the know logo. oh yeah it did on this is literally the Vorsteiner logo and he hit it right on the logo which well, sucks but look it's fucked. cracked you got yeah. this room fucked. I'm surprised it's holding air and I'm also surprised it didn't do more damage. If you guys seen my E46 video, me and David practically did the same thing. We tried to drift a corner, we lost control, hit a curb, and literally went on top of the curb. Well, I went on top of the curb. I don't know about him, but his his car like ate the damage pretty good. I don't know. We had the homie shop yeah, check it out, and there's no other damage. Like none of the coilovers messed up, none of the control arm, nothing's messed up. Literally the wheel took all the damage, which thank God, because that's probably super expensive. My car, I broke the coil over, I broke the wheel in half, and my wheel was literally in half, bro. I'll throw a picture right here. That shit was horrible. But his wheels, I don't know, it saved it. I don't know how. Maybe Vorsteiner wheels are a little strong. He also hit this, yeah. <laughs> what happened, bro? Look at this car, everything blew up. So I landed on top, I landed on that side. Yeah, so that wheel was on this side, guys. So that's why it looks a little weird. This is the side that got hit, except we they replaced the front wheels, swapped them, I don't know why, but as you guys see, it just hit the wheel and then it hit this little carbon piece that he had, like this. He needs, a, pass bottom, bro, fuck, he needs a passenger side one of these. And once he throws that back on, it'll hide all this ugly yeah, damage. Well, I mean, that's honestly just glue. This is just glue, huh? Like yeah, 3M, just 3M tape or something? I don't know. All the damage is underneath. But you got lucky. Like nothing happened on the body. Nothing happened on the control arm. All he has to do is replace the carbon piece right here. Obviously get new wheels because those wheels are done. No, only only on this one. Only one of them and this wheel. This I mean, wheel got a little curb. Damn, that sucks, bro. This one's definitely repairable. You can fix that one. You just try to drift it? This car's so funny. If anyone has an F80, you guys know how fun these cars are. I'm not gonna lie. I'd probably do the exact same thing if I had an F80. I'd be trying to drift every and corner, but... to control. The only reason why I lost control is because I try to keep it going. One way, then the other way, then the other way, and... You know, same thing like Nick, but we just got scared and we fucking pressed the brake. The last thing you ever fucking do in a situation like that. But it's crazy, it's different when you're actually in the moment. I know. Like, you're supposed to, you know, counter steer and give it gas, but... I did the same thing. I know what he's talking about, guys. That's just like... When that happens to me in the E46, it happened so fast, and I don't know what I did, but I, like, pressed the brakes, and the brakes locked up. And the car just yeah, slid just into bro. the... That's yeah, it. like, like I'm trying to turn the wheel and hold the brake, and I don't know why I did that, but I just slid into the curb, and I think that's exactly what he did. Pressing the brake, you're literally sliding. Yeah, it's scary. I don't know how there's not more damage, bro. Like, the wheel oh, really no. ate all the damage. Yeah, so, like, I mean, the bumper was a little more fucked up, but the homie Rick, shout out to La Barca, he, uh, <laughs> he, 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 made the front, he made the bumper way better. I just need a lift and another one of these. He crashed the F80, bro. And the reason why it's here, too, because he can't really drive it. I think since he bent the wheel a little bit, it kind of hits the brake caliper a little bit. So you can't really, like, drive it. It's not drivable. You can hear it, like, rubbing on something. Because he just bought new wheels, which we'll show uh, you guys right now. But yeah, he crashed the F80. It's not that bad. The wheel took all the damage. I'm surprised it's still holding air. Look at this, guys. Not this box, but David got some new wheels. He only has two, though. You guys are gonna like these. 18 by 11, bro. These shits are huge. You guys are gonna like these. Sure, watch. Ready? These are lucky my favorite wheels. If I get an F80, I'm probably gonna get the exact same wheels. It'd be these and and the ones that Nick has on his own. On a GTR. They kind of look like my GTR wheels, but they're Apexes. I had Apexes on my E36. I'm sure a lot of you guys know Apexes are like really popular in the BMW community, but they look really, really good on F80s. The, this style. Where's the center caps? Oh, they're in there. Somewhere. 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 Right there. He needs the front ones down. The reason he bought only the rears because we found a good uh, deal online. 
So we're like, let's get these. Ace <laughs> Look at that shit looks sick. So brand new Apex. I think they're called SM10s. 18 by 11, bro. So he's doing the 18 setup. Like what I always wanted to do. 18s with the fat tire setup. Maybe some like Toyos on it or something. Yeah, so now we're trying to find the front wheels, but we got the rear. That's gonna look sick, bro. I think those are 18s, but they're gonna be way better yeah, for me, bro. Like that shit's small as fuck, bro. It's just like probably 18 by 9 or some shit. Yeah, these are 18 by 11. Same as I have my GTR thing. I think I have 11. Or maybe mine are 12. I don't know. Hopefully David can find the front wheels ASAP. Order the front wheels ASAP. I, the tire has I know this is this is what you get, bro. I told him stop drifting. Look at how bald his tires are. I knew he was gonna lose control, bro. I can't wait till he starts driving it again because this shit's just been sitting here, bro. It's kind of sad. Anyways, I want to make a video. Tell you guys what happened to David's car. I mentioned it in like one of my videos, and a lot of you guys started guessing. Like, did he blow the crank up? Did he blow the engine? Did he crash it? Well, yes, he kind of crashed the car, and it's not as bad as we thought. When he first called me, I was like, there's no way David just crashes F80, bro. And this is right after I posted my E46 video. So I was like, bro, is it like bad luck or something? Like we're all crashing our cars. Hopefully new content on this thing soon too. Next video, we'll probably go pick up the new trunk hatch from the homie Fresh Kicks. Throw it on this car. I think you have to swap out the glass. I'm not sure if I mentioned it in my other videos, but we're going to be wrapping this car at the end of the month. In like literally a week or two. Homie Henry's coming down from New York again. He's the homie who wrapped my GTR, but... He's coming down from New York and he's gonna wrap the 350Z for me. It's gonna be sick. I have the color already. I've had the color for months now. So we're finally gonna put it on the car. Wrap it, fix the starter, wild the diff, and then we can make some drifting content. It would be cool. Look at it. You guys forgot about this, huh? We got it still. I know, bro. I get comments to this day. What the f is going on with your dirt bike? I still have it. I just haven't rode it. It's been just sitting here. I'm gonna start it. Watch it. Hold this. See if it starts. Bro, if this thing starts first try, I'll be surprised. I think it'll start. I don't remember the last time this shit's been started. This shit looks sick with the BMW logo on the back. <laughs> this guy's tripping. This guy has fucking monkey pox. Stop this and start. Oh, it started. Work. Does it work? Yeah. yeah. It still starts, guys. It looks really good too. If you guys don't remember the dirt bike videos, I did all new plastics on it, so it's brand new. It actually looks like a Honda because it's red, but it's actually a Yamaha 450F. The 450, bro, my first dirt bike, so it's a little scary, but I haven't taken it out yet. The reason I haven't drove it is because I want to get someone to torque down the wheels correctly because I don't think I threw them on right. We got these all powder coated brand new, and I don't know if I put them on right, so I want to make sure someone that knows how to work on bikes comes over and helps me torque everything. So I don't just ride and the wheel falls off and I die. And then I also gotta buy a new bolt kit because I'm, I'm missing a lot of bolts on the plastics. Anyways, it starts guys. They're back, sir. What, you going away? So you can fix your car? Anyways, quick little updates on all the cars, on all everything, even the dirt bike. Huh? What are we doing tomorrow? Tomorrow? Yeah. Pardon me? Let's take my car? What day is tomorrow, sir? I might sip out this bottle until it get hollow. Shit, I might sip out this bottle, just drown in my sorrows. Drown in my sorrows, be better tomorrow. Cause these broken dreams is as hard as it gets. My nigga died at only 25. I'm thanking God for letting me see him.